If you've been wanting to make additional money on Amazon, but just not sure of how to go about starting the process, today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to create your very first coloring book to publish on Amazon. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Latoya Nicole. And a few years back, I published my very first coloring book that grew into a multi six figure coloring book business. If you're a busy entrepreneur or creative, want a little relaxation, then make sure you check out my website at entrepreneurscolor2.com. These are just a few of the coloring books that I've created using Mid Journey. And what's great about it is you could create these books to publish on Amazon absolutely free. The only thing you would have to pay for is your AI generated artwork. And then also, if if you choose you want a proof copy of your book after you publish it on Amazon, then you would need to pay for that proof copy, which I do recommend. And we're going to be putting our book together using Canva. If you've never used Canva before, then you would just go to canva.com and you would register for an account. And if you have used Canva and are familiar with it, then you would just go ahead and log into your current account. All of my books have been designed using Canva. So even when I have hired an illustrator, I still take those images and put the book together using Canva. And also, so when I use AI artwork like we're going to be doing today, I take those images and put the book together using Canva. It's really a great tool that beginners can use to design things like graphics, arts, and even templates. And what about Amazon though? Why should I publish there? Amazon is a great way to make money because you can set your own prices. You can sell global all around the world and it's print on demand, which means that you don't have to keep any of the books or have any type of inventory on hand. Because once someone purchases your book on Amazon, Amazon then goes and prints your book, ships it to the customer and handles all of the customer service. Yeah, it's really one of the top self-publishing platforms that makes the process as simple as possible. But before publishing your coloring book, you just want to keep in mind the number of pages you want your book to have, the size of your book, and whether you want paperback or hardback. So let's get started so you can see the process of what you would do when you're publishing your own book. So first I like to head to Amazon to get inspiration. Everybody has been talking about these food and snack um, coloring books. So I think that that's what we're going to be creating on today. Super cute and easy. First I'm going to go to ChatGPT and I'm going to say I want to create a food coloring book with simple soul food images. What foods should I include? And let's see what it gives me all right we got fried chicken cornbread collard greens mac and cheese sweet potato pie grits black eyed peas barbecue ribs peach cobbler and as you can see so we only have 15 and usually for my coloring books i like to add at least 24 pages so all you would do in that case is just say can you give me 10 more and even if you don't like some, you can just keep on asking it to give you more so that you can kind of choose through the ones that you may want to include in your book. So we're going to start with the fried chicken. All right. So we got our chicken. Let's do some drumettes. That's image number two. Let's go ahead and upscale image number two. And then we got our macaroni and cheese in a bowl. But we're going to go ahead and do image number three. I like that one the best. All right, so for the cornbread, I guess we can do image number four. I'm going to go ahead and upscale that image. Then I'm going to go ahead and start generating some images that I may want to use for uh, my cover as well so that uh, we can go ahead and start working on the cover next. And by the way, if you're new to Mid Journey, I actually take a deep dive on exactly how to use the prompts and upscale your images and everything like for example for this prompt i use kids coloring page illustration chicken lead food theme cartoon style thick lines low detail so yeah if you need to know exactly how to use mid journey in more detail then make sure you check out my coloring book course at bookbaguniversity.com but let's go ahead and start working on our cover we're going to go get our cover template using kdp cover calculator for binding paperback we're going to be doing black and white white paper left to right inches trim size is going to be eight and a half by 11 and then the page count let's do 54. i like my um, coloring books to usually have about 24 images inside the reason i'm doing 54 is because amazon totals all of the pages so including the blank pages the title pages and everything like that 
Then we're gonna go ahead and calculate the dimension. This is gonna give us our full cover dimensions that we're gonna need. The width is 17.372 by 11.25. So let's go ahead and go into Canva. Go to create a design, custom size. We're gonna switch this to inches. Then we're gonna go ahead and put in our full cover width and height. And so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new design. This is gonna give us our blank template that we're gonna to need to start working with to create our cover file. So we can go ahead and download this template so that we can save it and then we can upload that file here. All right, so then I'll go ahead and make it fit the full page. And just real quick, if you are new to Canva, let me just go over these um, tabs on the side so you'll be familiar with them. So this is the design tab. This is where you can actually search for templates. Like if you're looking for inspiration, for example, um, coloring pages, you can see some templates for coloring pages here. Um, but just keep in mind, anything that you use inside of Canva for KDP, you're going to want to make it your own. So you cannot just simply insert for example, this, this plain coloring page and use it. These are simply just for inspiration for you to go in and customize your own unique design. And then they have the elements tab. And for the elements, you can basically search anything that you're looking for. Like let's say if you're looking for tape to add to a notebook page, or if you're looking for a square, and then of course it gives you different shapes and different graphics. And then this is the text tab. So if you want to insert any text in, on your book, that's where you would go for this. And then you can change the fonts here. And then you can even change the size of the text. You can make it bold, italicize, underline it, all those things. And so if you have a brand, this is the brand tab where you could go in and set up your brand colors. This is where you will upload any images that you may have saved on your um, computer. This is the draw tab. I really have never used this tab, but I mean, I guess you could play around with it. And then this is where your projects would be saved that you have completed. And this is the apps tab. They have a lot of apps that you could play around with. Back to our cover. This is showing us our borders and the pink lines are just the lines that we need to make sure that all of our important elements are inside of these lines, okay? So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and start with my cover. This is going to be the front cover of the book over here, and then this is going to be the back cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working with the front cover. So I'm gonna save that one, save this one, and save this one. Go ahead and upload our files. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start bringing this in now Canva has a free version and a paid version. So one thing I love about the um, paid version is like how we have that background. We could go to edit photo and click on background remover when we have the paid plan for Canva. You can use my link in the description to get um, a 30 day free trial. But I love that it can remove the background because sometimes the backgrounds are not gonna be the color or the theme or style that, you're, that you may be looking to have for your specific book. So if I wanna change this background color to, let's say this color, then maybe I could put this here. Go and grab our text. What am I gonna do? Now I'm gonna duplicate it and put coloring book. gonna make it white and then I'm gonna give it an outline by going to effects and then outline let's make it black so it can kind of stand out Then I'm just gonna move this over a little bit and then we can add. And then just make sure you don't have anything that's gonna cover that barcode area there. And then we could just um, click delete to remove that template. That's how the book cover will look. You can save that as, as a PDF print file. 
Now, I wasn't really feeling that cover, so I am going to just duplicate that page so I can keep the same background color. And then I'm pulling some other images that I saved using Mid Journey. And then, of course, I remove the background and then I'm just duplicating the text so that I can play around with that to see where I want the um, title to go. I think I want to go on top of everything. And then um, if you don't want to call it soul food, because this really ain't soul food no more, you can just, you know, call yours whatever you want to call it, because this is simply for inspiration. Then we'll go back and create a design and start working on the interior file. So for the interior file, I'm going to do eight and a half by 11 inches. And then I'm going to click on create new design. And then once I click on create new design, all you would do then is bring your images in. If you want to add anything like a border around the images, then you can go to elements and you can search for shapes like a square and then you can click on border style and then click here for border weight. You can change the weight to make the lines as thick or as thin as you want. I usually do around three or four for mine. Then I go here and I make the color transparent so that it fits around the image. And so you can make your image bigger if you need to, to kind of fill up the page. You can also adjust your border size. You can center it to make sure it's in the margins. And then you can just duplicate that page and then bring in your other images to put them inside as well. And then once you have all the images that you want for your book, you would just go to download here and then save this as a PDF document as well. After you have your two files, go to kdp.amazon.com, click on create. Create to create your paperback book and go through all three sections. Now I do have a step-by-step -step tutorial showing you how to upload your coloring book to Amazon KDP and you can watch that video next. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. And until next time, bye-bye.